Hello, and welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thank you all very much for tuning in and joining me as I explore the wide world of pens. One of the advantages of doing YouTube videos, being what some people say is some type of pen influencer, but that's for someone else to decide, not for me. I get contacted by people who ask me if I would like to review some of their pens and their offerings. So I recently got this email and I went to the website and I was very impressed with their breadth of pen selection, paper, inks, everything else. And their pricing was good, so I felt it was worthy of me to take advantage and take up their on their offer. So they uh, sent me two pens, which I selected. They included two bottles of ink, which I hadn't talked about. And Ms. Sizemore is very interested, and so is Mr. Seismore. So we're gonna quickly look at these. Here's a little invoice that I got that describes what was in the package. I uh, did not pay, these uh, were sent to me free of charge and I appreciate that and I certainly will enjoy them and hopefully you will enjoy seeing these pens let's dive in when I first visited the uh, pen haven website I was impressed with the amazing variety and uh, depth of pens and pen related materials they have and here we are perusing the website hopefully you can see some things there that might interest you I certainly would recommend checking them out, joining their newsletter. Doesn't hurt. You can always unsubscribe later if you find it to not be useful. But I've always enjoyed the newsletters I subscribe to from various uh, pen sources. And I encourage you to do the same. This is instantly recognizable as a Twisby. Nice generic brown cover. And we'll see the label. It's a yellow eco. And I got it in extra fine because the person who will end up with this pen enjoys extra fine pens. You know, the classic Twisby box instructions visible through the back. That's that piece of plastic that held everything together. I try to keep packaging intact. You never know. Should you take off the lid, which is pretty secure. You'll see some more instructions. And if you lift up this flap, you'll see the classic Twisby wrench, which is specific for the Eco. Some silicone grease and the pen. And I just uh, was very happy to be able to get this. I think uh, this is kind of a rare limited edition, whatever you want to call it. And Twisby's been good at following with Lamy Safaris or whatever. I like the fact that it tells you to don't put any alcohol on the pen because that certainly would not help the finish. But this is just a nice pen. Now I have an Eco that I've had for many, many years inked up as a medium nib. And it's one of the few pens that writes first time every time. I like it. And I'm very happy to add this to my collection. Cap comes off with a small amount of turns. We'll see that classic Twisby nib and it is an EF for extra fine standard plastic feet I mean this is a a well-made pen and I think the yellow just really sets it off nice color nice transparency you can see that liner in the cap which would seal up against the section and keep the nib from drying out and that's I can verify that it works very well when uh, Lucy and I were exchanging emails about what might make sense for me to look into, I asked her what was some of the strengths of Pen Heaven, and she said they're engraving, so that obviously said, let me see what pen would look nice engraved. And this pen I haven't seen before, didn't know it existed. It's part of a Twisby collection. It's a special in red and an extra fine nib because this will also have a new owner. Classic, nice 
tin box. Uh, Caveco does a very, very good job. If we take off the lid and it's hinged. Let's see, uh, uh, so here we are with some instructions. Here we are with uh, some stickers in case you want to decorate something. Another Penhaven card, which is great. And the Caveco warranty and some descriptions and contacts and a little bit of history which I hadn't really read or seen before in this format and now let's look at the pen this I put in later because there was no converter with the pen a nice inventory label and as we slide the pen out of its plastic protective sleeve We'll see an interesting pen. I think it's an interesting pen, and you'll notice that the name is engraved very, very nicely. Ah, excellent job. So one of the things that spurred me to think about is that if you're going to gift a pen, having it engraved certainly makes that gift, I think, very special. And also might limit people's ability of re-gifting the pen you gave them, but uh, those of us that collect vintage, there's a lot of pens that are engraved. That was more popular, I think, during the vintage era than it is now, but Penhaven certainly does a great job with it. And this pen, I think, is just a nice design. Like I said, I was not aware of the pen before. Nice, uh, classic, Caveco octagonal uh, shape. And it's, of course, labeled and identified as a Caveco collection, FP Germany. The cap unscrews with almost three turns. Nice O-ring there that secures it. And if you would like to post it, screws the post. Now this is multiple threaded, so you can line things up differently. I think I played around with this a little bit when I got it. But, you know, to me, it's not important. It feels good in the hand. Yes, it's small and slim, but this would make a great purse pen, a great pen to put in that uh, little holder on your notebook. And, of course, it has a nice Caveco nib, and it's an extra fine. Classic plastic feed. As I mentioned, inside it com comes with an empty cartridge, a full cartridge in blue, but I prefer converters, so I found this converter, which is looks like a, a classic uh, converter from Schmidt or whatever. Nice design, and you can see it mimics the end of the cartridge, and it does fit very nicely, very well, and it does fit within the barrel. So that's how we're going to ink this pen up. So that's my haul from Pen Heaven. Hopefully you're going to look forward to some in-depth reviews of the two pens that I got. I'm certainly looking forward to doing that and sharing that with you. So stay tuned and definitely check out Pen Heaven. You have nothing to lose and hopefully a lot to gain. We've reached the end of this video. Thank all of you for watching. Hope all of you are enjoying your pens, enjoying thinking about getting more pens, putting some ink on paper, and that's what they're designed for. So we're at the end. We're going to say bye-bye. See you later.